Austin already has their first CD out. If you don't have it yet, after the show, you can buy it right back here in the lobby. Please welcome from West Virginia. Here they are, Seven Day Jesus! The boys are singing on birthdays Never seen so clearly In my strength I run away from things That cause my heart to feel
it's really, really cool to be here and count the, well, there's no way I can count you guys, I guess. What you got? 1,300. Is everybody having fun tonight? Cool. Well, this next song goes out to Emily. This next song is dedicated to my wonderful wife who's at home all by herself in West Virginia. I just got married like a week and a half before this tour and, you know, I miss it pretty bad, so. Do you guys like to sing along with bands? Anybody? Anybody? Cool, well, I think you know this one.
guys. Like I said before, we are seven day Jesus from Huntington, West Virginia. Does anybody know what West Virginia is? It's like, it's one of those states up there. You know? Anyway, we're gonna do a few more songs for you guys. And the third day is gonna come out. But, uh, I really like third day. I wanna tell you a little bit about us real quick before we play these last songs. The name is Seven Day Jesus. It comes from the name Seven Day Jesus comes from all of us growing up in church and uh, thinking that you know the things that we did all our lives were cool, like going to church every time the doors were open, or dressing the right way, being the cool youth group kid, you know, saying the right things. And uh, there's nothing wrong with going to church and all that, but we thought that that's what, what made us saved. We thought that that's what being a Christian was. And for most of our lives so far, we had, um, we had lived a lie and we had been empty inside. And I just want to tell everybody everywhere we go that being a Christian is not a list of rules. It's not about going to the certain church, the right denomination, or saying the right things, looking the right way. It's about nothing more than admitting that we were all sinners and that Jesus Christ's death is the only thing that saves us. A lot of people have the wrong idea. A lot of people think that Christians are just people trying to force feed their ideas. And, and we get so much flack, but, you know, Buddhists and whoever else are allowed to run free, you know, do whatever. And I don't think it's very cool. But I just want people to know that we're not, we're not saying we're better than anybody else. We're not preaching perfection because we're not perfect. We're humans. We just know and we admit that we're sinners and Jesus died for us. And that's all it takes to be a Christian. This is for me.
Thank you everybody, thanks everybody for coming out tonight. I appreciate it. It's had a lot of fun. This last song we're gonna do is called Ashamed, and it's about me really and how if I'm not up here on stage or if I'm anywhere else, it's just as hard for me as it is the next person to go up to a stranger or family member or anybody and just say, hey, let me tell you about Jesus. Because I'm human and sometimes it feels awkward and I just want to say that I'm ashamed when I feel that way. I'm ashamed of myself. Because I don't have anything to be ashamed of God for. And he's given me something. He's given me something kind of on my heart that I tell a lot of people. And that is that when he was there the very day he had to make the decision to let Jesus die for all of us or not. He looked and he saw all the sins that I would commit and everyone else in the world and all the sins that we would continue to commit against Him every day, even after we accept Him. And He still decided that it was worth it to let His Son die for us. I don't want to be ashamed of that.